Hello, 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 humanity, back as I promised. I uh, I forgot to uh, mention uh, in the uh, last uh, uh, posting that uh, in the last video that uh, I made a um, sugar-free caramel. Uh, I'm going to try to bring you that uh, um, that uh, video uh, as well. It's really, really simple and it's so tasty. Uh, and that's what I put on top of uh, this particular cake. But you can also do a cream cheese, uh, a uh, cream cheese uh, 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 icing if you want to. And all I did with that is just uh, half of uh, because I this is the second uh, oatmeal carrot cake that I made. One was with the uh, cream cheese frosting, and then the other was the one that I made today with the uh, homemade uh, sugar-free caramel uh, frosting. And so if you go, if you'd rather go with the uh, uh, cream cheese uh, frosting, all I did was took. Uh, a half a box of cream cheese if you have some lemon zest uh, I mean if you have a lemon you know just uh, scrape a uh, wash and then scrape the uh, the lemon zest uh, off of it maybe like a tablespoon full and then I put uh, half a teaspoon and remember we talked about the spoons the teaspoon is the smaller of the spoons and then the uh, tablespoon is the larger of the spoons and then you just take a, a half of a teaspoon the smaller spoon and uh, uh, put in some cinnamon if you have some um, you can also use uh, some uh, vanilla flavoring uh, if you'd like, uh, maybe about uh, a half, half a teaspoon of that as well. And then you're going to go in with um, maybe three, three tablespoons of the monk fruit. Uh, and you know that's uh, just the uh, sweetener that's derived from, uh, uh, that's derived from, um, from the uh, from uh, the fruit called monk fruit, uh, and you know what, uh, humanity? I just thought about that. Uh, um, oh no, that sandwich didn't call for a uh, monk fruit. I was just getting ready to say I didn't even mention the monk fruit in the last video, but that was the sandwich. Okay, uh, getting back. So uh, all I did, uh, humanity, I took a cup of uh, uh, oatmeal flour, and remember, if you don't have any oatmeal flour, don't stress yourself out. Just get your ninja. Take uh, uh, take your oatmeal and pour in um you know the full uh content however big uh however big your um your uh pitcher or uh cup however big your cup is to the uh, ninja just fill that up with oatmeal and turn it on and uh let it run for maybe about a minute it's going to turn into flour and uh and what you'll use is you're going to use one uh cup of oatmeal uh the oat flour i'm sorry and then you're going to take uh maybe about i want to say maybe about 10 carrots if you don't have shredded carrots if you have shredded carrots you're going to use a half a cup of shredded carrots if you don't have uh shredded carrots don't stress yourself out just take your mandolin and you know what that is where it has the uh the steel thing that has the uh, uh the protrusions out and if you run your vegetables across it it will give you the desired shape of uh you know what you're looking for shaved or uh, uh shredded or what have you in this particular case you're going to shred your carrots and you'll just run the uh run the individual carrot across the protrusion from the uh, mandolin and uh, i'm thinking it's maybe about 10 that should give you about a half a cup of uh, shredded carrots if you don't have any and then i used um maybe about three-fourths cups of the monk fruit uh, 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 sugar and like I say you know what that is that's just your monk fruit uh, uh, sugar that's derived from monk fruit and uh, you know monk fruit it has really really um, uh, stated to have a lot of medicinal purposes uh, I've yet to see any of them but uh, the most important thing it comes from a fruit so uh, that that's the biggest uh, uh, to me the biggest benefit you know you're not uh, it it's sugar free because it's from the fruit but anyway um and so you're going to use one cup of uh, the uh, uh, monk fruit and then I uh, used uh, I had some French vanilla sugar free uh, uh, fat free powdered creamer and it gets, gives it a wonderful flavor addition uh, to the, uh, the other ingredients I used um, 
one fourth cup of uh, that, uh, the French vanilla. You can use the flavor of your choice. Remember, the personalization and the customization is key. And I used two eggs, and then uh, and I I didn't do the you know the dry ingredients and the liquid ingredients. I just you know whichever one I put my hand on, that's the one that I put in the bowl. But you may get better results if you do the dry and sifting and that. You know I didn't. Okay, so uh, after you do the uh, two eggs, then I put in a pinch of salt. I put in uh, one tablespoon of the uh, cocoa powder, and remember, uh, uh, the cocoa powder is good uh, in terms of, uh, like I said, it's antimicrobial and it's uh, uh, it's an antioxidant. And so I used uh, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and um, I want to say, uh, I think, I think, yeah, that's that's it. You got your carrots, you got your oatmeal, you got your cocoa, and you have your uh, oh and your almond milk i used um one fourth cup to maybe three fourth cups of uh almond milk and uh i used one teaspoon of uh, baking powder and uh i put in maybe about uh one teaspoon of uh one tablespoon i'm sorry of uh pecans and you can use pecans you can use walnuts or you don't have to use any nuts at all that's optional and so all i did was i stirred all that up if you find that uh, your uh, mixture is still just a little bit too dry add a little bit more almond milk or if you want to use whole milk however you know the almond milk you know it's non-dairy and um that uh that that was it and i stirred all that together that's why i say it's really really simple it's effortless and it's affordable and so after i stirred all that together uh for maybe about i didn't even have a mixer i i have to replace my mixer so you can tell it's really really effortless to prepare this cake and keep in mind you're eating this really really sugary cake that um and that literally uh and literally you're eating the cake and basically what you're eating is oatmeal carrots and cocoa you know unsweetened uh your unsweetened uh cocoa and uh you know that that's pretty healthy uh, and so you're gonna bake i i have a very small bunt cake and keep that in mind uh humanity i uh these measurements are for a very very small bunt cake so if you don't have a very small bunt cake you might want to go with the loaf pan or if you're a baker and you know how how to uh, you know increase the uh, increase the ingredients to give you uh, the fullness that would uh, uh, allow you to make two cakes and then put your icing on it you know by all means go and do that I just uh, simply uh, I don't know how to do it like that I um, I'm only giving the uh, the uh, ingredients and the um, um, the amount for the ingredients for a small bun cake so make sure you stay mindful of that and so uh you preheat your oven to 375 and i think i baked it for maybe 20 minutes but that's going to be completely dependent upon your appliance you know if your oven cooks a little bit faster if it cooks a little bit slower take all of that into an account you may need uh, you may need 25 minutes you may need 30 minutes and then also take into account that i was baking a very very small uh, uh small amount so if you do, uh, if you are, if you do happen to be a baker and you know how to increase your ingredients to use uh, two cake pans, where you're going to take that into consideration uh, as well, you'll probably need 30 minutes uh, for the uh, uh, cake to be uh, where you need it to be and so okay so uh, uh for the icing what i did i made a sugar-free homemade caramel and all i did was i put in one fourth cup of almond and in a skillet i put in one fourth uh, a cup of uh, almond milk i put in one tablespoon not teaspoon tablespoon of cinnamon i put in uh a half of um a half of teaspoon of uh, uh, vegetable oil, but if you have coconut oil or um, you know uh, butter, you can use butter as well. I didn't have uh, any butter on hand. Uh, you can use a half a stick of butter, and then I also uh, I used. Uh, I think I want to say I used how much sugar i think i used uh have a half a cup of sugar so taste it uh uh humanity and make sure that uh you know it's uh you know the where you would have it in terms of sweetness you know you may want a little you know maybe you, you have a, a stronger sweet tooth or maybe that might be too much sugar for you uh uh the uh half a cup if i said a cup i meant a half a cup of uh, sugar and then you want one pinch of salt 
and I put in one uh, one tablespoon of sour cream and then all I did was let that uh, simmer I let it simmer for maybe about 12 or 13 minutes and uh, then uh, I let it cool now let me let me let me give you a warning about this because see all of this is all new to me I'm not a baker at all and um, after the uh, caramel got done it, it was so it was so delicious but here and oh and I, I also I added uh, half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice uh, in the uh, uh, sugar-free caramel but here's something that I want to tell you I didn't realize I don't know what I did but uh, after I uh, let the caramel sit to the side you know it got real real uh, uh, real real uh, thick right uh, to the point to where I couldn't even uh, penetrate the uh, spoon and so I put it in the microwave when I put it in the microwave it melted right away same taste same flavor you know same texture it looked just as pretty it caramelized and what have you but here's the thing it wasn't quite cool and I put that uh, uh, put that car hot caramel from that microwave in my mouth and it burned uh, uh, burned the roof of my mouth so whatever you do uh, humanity stay very mindful that uh, you know you want to melt the caramel to get it you know to the consistency that you can pour it but you need to make absolutely sure that it's cool because it can burn you know it can burn your mouth it can burn your lips or if you're a baker you may know uh, to do something to where it doesn't uh, stiffen up to the point to where you even need to put it in the uh, microwave okay so keep all that uh, in mind and uh, if I did uh, I don't know if I finished uh, the cream cheese uh, 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 um, the cream cheese frosting so as I said I used a half a box of cream cheese uh, one teaspoon of the lemon zest you know you just zest wash and zest the uh, back of the, the lemon and I put in uh, half a teaspoon of cinnamon you can omit that if you want to and just put in a half a, a teaspoon of um, of uh, vanilla flavoring if you want and uh, uh, then just your uh, one fourth cup of your monk fruit which is your sugar and then just mix it together and and by all means you know add add other things you know put in maybe a, a little uh, uh, orange uh, orange zest orange and lemon zest you know and uh, maybe put in some butter seasoning make it extra buttery you know just really go in and just you know do do what you would like to please your palate so that uh, when you want to reach for a uh, sugar-free uh, uh, dish, uh, you have it, and you don't have to reach for a candy bar or some really, really sweet uh, sugary cookies. Because uh, remember, we're uh, in the struggle, we're coming out of the struggle, or uh, we're just simply taking the long road home, staying out of the struggle, and staying with the uh, eating lifestyle. So I'm hoping that uh, what I brought to you today, uh, humanity, I'm hoping it helped. I also did. I wasn't feeling quite well what was that maybe about three or four days ago I did a real nice um I did a real nice appetizer all I did was uh, some scrambled eggs and a stir fry but here's the trick I put uh, I combine uh, the two and I used a Worcestershire sauce and uh, a little bit of soy sauce and uh, some chipotle mrs. dash I'm gonna break it down for you I'm gonna try to bring you that slide I know I won't bring it to you tonight so you know I won't even say that but uh, hopefully I'll uh, bring it to you soon and you'll know it because I'll make sure to title it uh, 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 when you're not feeling so well appetizer it'll be titled somewhere along in that area okay humanity uh, uh chances are this is about all i'm going to do tonight i really wish i could bring you a little bit more if i can i will if i uh, can't i'll try to get you some more tomorrow take care of yourself